Hey, hey what's up, guys? Greg. Yep, Jeff. Nice yeah, to meet great you. Great to meet you. Joe, nice Joe, to meet you. Joe, nice How to meet you. you. Yeah. Tyler. This is Tyler, nice our to meet you. fabricator. Tyler, yeah. So, yep, staying here looking over this. We got a big custom build here we're awesome. getting started on. So, yeah, well, we appreciate you having us out to the shop. And, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Glad yeah. to have you guys. I know this is a brand new place for you guys. It's awesome. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Long time in the making. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you got quite a bit of things going on, too. Yeah. Quite a different bunch of builds here. Yeah. Yeah, and it's actually a slow day. We got bad weather here today, so normally the shop will be packed. So, awesome. Well, we would love to see it, you know, see it around the shop. And, yeah, uh, gladly. I know you guys got the machine shop next door as well. So, yeah. Want to take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 we'll give you the full tour. So, That's great. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so this area right here is where we do mainly fabrication, uh, bigger builds, you know, more long term projects. And uh, so this is kind of Tyler's area here. So we got a, a excursion here, Fum and Swap. Actually, a customer of ours did a lot of the work themselves and brought it to us for all like the you know the wiring and the hard part. You know the part <laughs> the part that we're you know I'd say experts at because yeah. yeah transmission tuning yeah yep. the fine details and that's where you guys are coming into play yep. on that yeah yeah we've done a lot of them so a lot of experience so that's what that one's here for so won't be long that'll be wrapped up this here is a really big custom build a 67 GMC it's getting a compound turbo 12 valve four link suspension front and rear so this will be a long-term project but a really really cool build so that's pretty well over in this area that one's getting an engine we got the engine for that just finish it up it's next door at the machine shop yeah and then this is our welding and fabrication for the most part's done here we got over a couple tig welders mig welder and little welding area and setup table bandsaw you know so that's what everything over here in this area is welding come over this way i'll show you guys the rest of the shop sounds good yeah, over here on this side of the shop, this is like the drive-in, you know, the drive-in service shop. We got seven bays. Uh, we got three two-post lifts. A lot of times these two posts have got cabs off, head gasket jobs, engine replacements, uh, you know, larger jobs like that. And, you know, several flat bays. The, the shop was laid out to where we could get at least 12 trucks in here comfortably and be working on them. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, pretty much no limitation. Uh, over here, we got a drive-on lift. We plan on adding another one. That's for the transmission work super handy having the drive on so got her set up pretty good over this way uh transmissions are a huge thing for us we do a lot of performance transmission builds so we got our tear down area so cameron's in here uh looks like he's cleaning up a case 60, 68 rfe we got you know the cleaning cabinets a couple automatic parts washers and Tear down bench, so all the all the transmissions come in here, get tore down, completely disassembled, valve body pump, everything disassembled, cleaned, and then it goes on a cart, comes into our assembly room. Get the sack. <laughs> so yeah, in here in the assembly room, uh, we got Mark. Mark's our transmission hey, builder. Hey. Um, so yeah, Mark does all the builds in here. So it's you know clean room, assembly room um we've got and it again these transmissions are designed to handle the kind of horsepower that you're producing in this shop. yep and yeah again you've got to have that transmission built to where it needs to be or building the engine is worthless yeah exactly yep if you can't put the power to ground there's no point in trying to make it so there's a lot of steps that are people are missing in, in their build transmission is the foundation of any performance build gas or diesel especially the diesel world the torque output so high but yeah, we can't get people to understand that enough you got to have a good transmission that's why we focus so much on it uh, we offer most m most units stage one through stage four or stage five. You know, right. we got that yeah. many options. So, so yeah, we build a ton of transmissions uh, for all diesel applications. So, Mark's always plenty busy in here. So we got uh, Allison over there, late model Allison. Uh, that's a forty. Is that forty seven, Mark? Forty eight. Forty eight. Forty eight RE. So we do. You know, we, we build them all on the diesel application. <laughs> One big thing that I wanted when we built this new building was office space. Yeah. I wanted somewhere for nice for customers to come into. You know, our old shop was really small. So one thing I was super excited about, we actually put in a conference room. So not that we have conferences, but you bring somebody to talk about a yeah. build, whether it's awesome. engine build or truck build, yeah. bring them in here, nice place to sit down. We got media on the wall. Um, yeah. And yeah, we get engine exactly builder. up. Got our uh, plaque up there on the wall. Yeah, Winner like the that. See? American good reading out. material here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So now we also use it for like customer waiting area. We got a big area upstairs too, but we'll bring people in. Yeah. We yeah. got you know That's some of great. our builds featured, and then some you know just the late magazines. Sure. But you know, give them something. So 
Like yeah. I said, we just really wanted the office area nice and, and room. We got room to grow here. The whole upstairs is finished off too. We got yeah. quite a bit of room to grow. So we got our service department, Dave in there, service manager. I want to say hey. Hello. Hey, Dave. How are you guys? <laughs> and then we got our parts department over this way in our showroom. Yeah, it's a gorgeous showroom. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. That was another thing yeah, like yeah. having the truck in here is pretty nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can actually get a four door long bed, four door long bed dually in here and still have room for, we're probably gonna add like a service counter, so. Oh, this is a nice area for people to walk in and see something yeah. like this yeah. set up, it's really nice. Yeah, well again, the old shop was so small, the office area, people walked in, you were tripping over parts and on top of each other, so this is a lot nicer and that's what we were going for. Yeah, very so, good. And we Great. got a spot to display parts, so. Right, right. Yep. And yeah, we got our parts department here, shipping, receiving, so got everything covered. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yes, yeah, so we got Scott, our parts manager in here. Hey, How's Scott. Going? How's it going? Yeah. Then we got our shipping, receiving room. So this is, you know, we have a big parts warehouse in the upper level, but this is a spot to store parts for builds that are going on. Uh, parts that we're, you know, commonly shipping and a place for, you know, for uh, the parts delivery drivers to drop parts off to. So. Yeah. Try to keep it organized. It's a full-time job trying to keep up with right, it, you know. Right. Yeah, so if we head over this way, we'll go over it, give you a tour of the machine shop. So what's cool about our new location, not only do we have our own engine machine shop in-house, it's 60 foot apart from the diesel shop. So That's yeah. drive. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So <laughs> I mean, it's great. today, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, whether you pull an engine out and it got to take it over there or get one built and bring it over, it's 60 foot asphalted. So it's really nice. That's nice. been a huge yeah. thing for yeah. us. Yeah. Well, great. and it's great yeah. that you got those capabilities right here in-house. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yep. love to check it out. Yeah, absolutely, come on. This is an awesome mailbox. Oh yeah, and that we were checking this out earlier. That's yeah, cool. I do want one for home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think uh, going to the airplane. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, well, six yeah. seven crank. It's old twelve valve rods laying around. That's really yeah. Neat. You definitely don't, you, don't, you definitely don't want to hit that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, come on in the machine shop. I'll give you guys a tour. Ah right, yeah, this is a nice space too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just under nine thousand square foot over here. That's so, which we still got room to grow. I mean, eventually we might run out of room, but as of now, we got room to grow. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Cool. Here. Come on. Yeah, show you guys around. You yeah. So, we got a couple um, Bridgeport mills, got a lathe. Um, we do prototype some parts and tools that we make, but then we uh, farm out the, you know, production work. But so we, you know, we'll use them for cutting down pistons and all kinds of stuff, you know, machi you know engine machine related. And then we do, you know, make some stuff with them too, but. Right. And then back this way, we've got our uh, core bank, kind of more, you know, uh, receiving area, people drop stuff off. We got our tear down area and all of our cleaning. So we got Ampro system, all of our cleaning cabinets back there. It was pressure testing as well. This area here is our cylinder head area. So we got Katie. Coleman okay. here. Katie does pretty much all the cylinder head work. Uh, Rottler surfacer. So we got a brand new CNC surfacer. We got a Cummins block in there now, but you know we do you know obviously cylinder heads and does a great job. PCD and CBN, so it puts a slick finish on them. Seat and guy machine. Uh, we got a one of our stage two Cummins ported heads in here. Uh, just got poured and now we're going in and hand blending everything and cleaning it up, getting ready for some oversized That's seats nice work. and yeah. yeah. Yep, nope, getting her all smoothed out and gasket matched. And so, yeah, so, so cylinder heads here. We got the Inconel valves, be ready for that head, billet intake. I uh, actually got a set of uh, brand new PPE ductile iron cylinder heads for Duramax here. So, it's one of the first couple sets they've put out. These will be available to the public uh, early this summer. Oh, so, so, we're getting a first chance to see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. exclusive. Yeah, we got a couple sets of them in. And we're just going through and checking them out, making sure they're good quality before we sell them to our customers and giving you know PPE some feedback on them. So, yeah, awesome. That'd be a nice engine addition to the engine. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna go over this way is where all of our block work's done. You see all the blocks yeah, you sitting here ready. Yeah, yeah, stacked up on this side for boring or line boring and honing. Those ones are all getting cam tunnels done. So. Got a good old Rottler boring bar. You know, these days we pretty much just use it for uh, when we're doing sleeves, you know, whether it's 
flange sleeve or straight sleeves, bore them for sleeves, cut counter bores, line hone cabinet, got our brand new fancy Rottler CNC hone. Uh, this this one does the automatic hold the hole, so it's awesome to watch this thing run. Just hold the hole on its own. So, you know, got a torque plate on this Cummins here. Everything we do is torque plated, you know, unless it's like a 30 horse old tractor engine or something, it's getting <laughs> torque plated. So, right. so yeah, so even a, uh, you know, 500 horse diesel build is getting torque plated. Yeah, so. well, that's great that you put all that machine work, you know, throughout any engine that you're doing. That's, yeah, that's great. Yeah, we have as far, I mean, it's, we, don't, we don't sacrifice quality on any, any engine we build. There might be some parts that are different, but we don't sacrifice quality. Yeah, yeah, or anything. That's, that's the number one thing for sure. I mean, yeah, do it right, or it's coming back and they're doing it again for yeah, free. You know, exactly. You yep. So, yeah, we got uh, Limeborn cabinets here. Got a rod hone back there in the corner. Don't use that much, but when we need it, we got it. Got a couple engines we just wrapped up this week. This one's ready to go across the parking lot to its home. That one's going to Illinois to a dealer of ours. And then in here, we got the assembly room. It's where the magic happens, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Got Gabe and Tommy. Hey guys. In hey here. Guys. So, right. got a Cummins block getting set up with a girdle and checking the main tunnel on it. Tommy's micing the crank. So Tommy was actually one of the two founding uh, owners, you know, uh, previously that I bought out. So very good. So Tommy and George started this, and they both still come up part time and help us out and awesome. you know, awesome. share their knowledge and you know help us keep going. So yeah, that's great. I see you got a balancer back here too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we got a CWT multi ball five thousand. Uh, it does an awesome job. So you know, we mainly do rotating assemblies, but as you see here, we got a stack of flex plates and got the flex plate mandrel in there. So. Well, uh, you know, we check other other companies' flex plates if we, somebody brings us one for a build, and then we have our own flex plates here. So just for filler work, we'll throw them on there and spin them up. And, and that's your design, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, for Duramax, so one through nineteen Duramax. So very good. Yep. And well, then you know, this is where we assemble them. So that's great. Well, Jeff, we appreciate the tour, and uh, you know, I don't know about Joe, but it's got me excited to talk about our build. <laughs>